Yo, what's good with y'all, man? How y'all doing today, man? Welcome back to another video, man. It's your boy, Broadway, back again. And yeah, I know it's been a while, but hey, I'm gonna skip all that shenanigans. Let's hop right into this video, man. So today, we got a uh, guy. I'm gonna do a reaction video for y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? I haven't done one in a while, you know what I mean? So let's get ready to get back up on these, you know what I'm saying? Now, this is what I want y'all to do. All right, check this out, look. So whenever I drop a reaction video, I need y'all to go down below in the comments and let me know what y'all want me to react to next. That'll help give me some ideas, bro. I don't care if it's just one person that comments and tell me what they want to react to. I'm gonna react to it, bro, because I feel like I've been struggling over the years because I didn't gave y'all so much content. If you haven't checked me out, if you're new to the channel, welcome. What's up? Go go check out my my other content. I got my other videos. You'll love them. I promise. All right. So what reaction video were we reacting? Oh, so. Hold on. Wait a minute. I'm not even gonna look. See, I was gonna end the video, but I'm gonna tell y'all something. I'm high. I'm really high right now. I just got done smoking. You feel me? This is not a reaction video. It's not. I don't know where I got that from. You feel me? But this is not a reaction video. This is a video of me talking about a situation that I just got to get off my chest, bro. Because I'm just so tired of these fake ass niggas, man. I'm tired of them, man. I promise. I promise. I'm so tired of these folks. So check this out, man. All right, so... It's this dude, you know what I'm saying, that I knew in high school, you feel me? And um, we was never really that cool, but I knew his sister, you feel me? Shout out to his sister. If she ever watching this video, she'll know who she is. But yeah, and he had a sister or whatever, so I was more cool with her than I was with him. But I knew she had a little brother, which was him. Now, I've been graduated, bro. I didn't graduate at Down there 10 years ago, literally. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't even know where bruh came from, but just about two, three years ago, he just came out of nowhere. I was like, yeah, bro, I'm rocking with your stuff. Ooh, ooh, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, we should link sometime, you know, this, that, and the third. You know me personally, bro, if you're a creative, if you're an artist, if you're doing anything in that type of field, I'm definitely trying to network and collab and do some type of things with you. All right, cool. So, bang. We didn't try to link up multiple times. It never happened. Okay, cool. Whatever. Fuck it. You feel me? It is what it is. But we've always seen to support each other from that very moment. You feel me? If he dropped something, I post it on my uh, Instagram story. I share it. We follow each other on pretty much uh, just Facebook and Instagram, no other platforms. But the the support has definitely been mutual. You feel what I'm saying? But this is where I have a problem with this man, and this is when shit really just starts to piss me off. So check this out. This man cannot take constructive criticism, bro. Listen. If you gonna be in this industry, the entertainment industry, not even that, bro. If you gonna live this motherfucking life, bro, you gotta learn how to take criticism. You got to. Quit thinking that somebody hating on you or jealous or envy of you. Honestly, to be honest with you, what the fuck I need to be hating on you for? Huh? What do I need to be hating on you for? You know, humbly saying I'm doing, I'm doing better than you. Musically, creatively, not saying that you ain't working. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm doing better than you, bro. So what I got to hate on? And I'm really not down to you, but you really got me fucked up, bro. Because at this point, dog, I'm trying to help you out, bro. You feel me? It's all about elevation. It's all about going up. If you're not willing to listen, if you want yes men all around you all the time, and I'm speaking for general people now, if you want yes men around you everywhere you go, you know what I'm saying? You always want them folks to tell you yes. Then, you feel me? You definitely not the type of person I want around me. You feel me? I don't want you around me. For what? You are not helping me out. You are not helping me do nothing. You always telling me yes. You always saying yeah, do that. It's okay to do this. You never give me your real true opinion. I don't need them type people around me, bro. You feel me? I'm trying to help this man out. Okay, your music. When you first start, bro, of course, bro, everybody has to find their sound, this, that, and the third. I still feel like you're trying to find your sound. You feel me? But you didn't got better, better since you've been practicing and you've been in the studio. So I give you that, okay? You still ain't there yet, but I give you that. You feel me? But now what I'm trying to tell you is, okay, now that your sound's starting to get better, 
Let's start elevating some of your videos. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying it in no type of cocky way, no hating ass way, none of that shit. You feel me? I'm literally telling this man, like, listen, I think you should elevate your videos. It's time to elevate. Like, the videos that you doing, they was cool when you first started, but if you're going to be an artist, bro, you got to step it up. You know what I'm saying? I don't need your help. Ooh, you sound like you hating on me. Ooh, I always felt like that. What the fuck is you talking about? So now, so now you can't take constructive criticism. You can't tell, I'm telling this man, listen, I literally got, when I share his shit and I repost his shit, people be telling me why I be doing it. And to be honest, it's because I support people that support me. Well, I don't want you to be reposting and sharing my stuff on your page and people gonna be talking down on it. Bro, that's their opinion of what they think of your content. So now you don't want me to share your shit because people giving me they, they honest opinion. You think everybody's supposed to like your shit? No, I don't work like that. So in this video, bro, what I want people to get from this story, bro, that I'm talking to y'all right now is that, listen, bro, in life, bro, you got to have people around you that's going to be honest with you. Even sometimes if it hurts your feelings, bro, they telling you the truth. Wouldn't you rather hear the truth? I know I would. I don't want nobody lying to me. You feel me? So it's just like, yeah, bro. Like, no, nah, I, I I, just told them I ain't unfollow me, whatever. I ain't had shit else to say to them, I I'm done, bro. Because this ain't the first time some shit like this done happened. This really the second time. And I'm really done with shit like that, bro. From now on, bro, in 2021, bro, I don't got no time for that type of energy. I don't. If, if I can't help you, in a sense of trying to be a, a, a supporter or a friend or somebody that see like, okay, I see you getting better. Now let's get better in this area now. If you can't take that, then bro, I don't need to be trying to be friends with you or work with you or support you. For what? You wasting my time, bro. You want yes men around you. You want people that's gonna tell you what you wanna hear all the time. And that's not how it work. You feel what I'm saying? You don't want negative people or somewhat people that be like you don't want a lot of keep it real people around you people that just think logically not all of them you feel me but at the same time you gotta have a balance bro you feel me so in this video bro i just want y'all to hear me out bro bro i always tell y'all right now dog if somebody trying to give you advice just listen to it you feel me even mind listen i'm gonna tell you one thing for sure my parents perfect example been giving me advice for years man you feel me as they supposed to right okay yeah so check this out when my parents give me advice i listen they don't always mean i take their advice but you can't get mad at somebody that's that's intention is to help you even if it's bad advice in a sense, their intention is good, but you have to be able to decipher it. So over the years, I've had my my parents sit there and be like, yeah, I don't think you need to do it like this, or you need to start doing this, or why you keep waiting around doing this, that, and the third, woo woo. But understand that I always knew that like, I hear what y'all saying, and I'ma still take things of what y'all told me, bits and pieces of it, I'ma take it, and then I'ma do it my way. You feel what I'm saying? Because to be honest, like I always told my parents, and especially my pops, which I love them to do, you're not really successful in the field that I'm trying to be in. You're successful in other areas that I've gained and knowledge and wisdom that I gained, which I take from that. But the career and the life that I want to live, I have to focus on the people that have already succeeded. And still, I can learn from the people that failed but I have to really focus in on the information that I'm soaking in from the people that have made it. You know what I mean? So that's what I want y'all to understand, bro. Don't take heed when people try to give y'all advice, bro, especially when it's coming from a good intention. You feel what I'm saying? Constructive criticism is good. It helps you grow. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all know I rap. I have people tell me all the time, your bars, you need to get your bars up. You need to do this, you need to do that. And I be working on that. I can easily sit there and be like, yo, bro, shut up talking to me. What the fuck is y'all talking about? You know what I'm saying? But I don't. You know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, they just telling me their perspective of what they see. You feel me? Everybody's opinion going to be different. You know what I'm saying? So understand it. 
So in this video, bro, like I said, go ahead and hit that like. You know what I'm saying? If y'all enjoyed this video, if y'all learned something from this video, if y'all want more videos like these, make sure y'all hit that like button for me, man. Go ahead and subscribe, man, if you haven't already. Go ahead and do that for me, bro. I know y'all want to come back for more because I'm finna start. I really want to start doing more videos like these for real. For real, for real. So make sure y'all do that. And like I said, go ahead and hit that notification bell so y'all know next time I drop a video. You feel me? But that's the end of this video, man. I hope y'all enjoyed it. It's your boy, Broadway, back again, man. Y'all already know what time it is. Y'all know I had to hit that jump one time for the one time for the one time. Right? But yeah, man. I'll see y'all in my next video, man. Oh, also, make sure y'all go check out my uh, music, man. I, I've been dropping hella music lately, bro. So if you don't know, bro, yes, I rap and sing. I am an artist. Make sure y'all go do that. You feel me? Go check out my music. It's on Spotify. It's on Apple Music. Title. Amazon. Make sure y'all go check out all those uh, streaming platforms, even if you don't have a specific one. I'm on everything. I also got my music on YouTube. Check out my channel. I got an actual playlist for y'all to go check out and listen to. Make sure y'all do that, alright? So yeah, like I said, I'll see y'all in my next video. Man, it's your boy, bye right